Hi, in today's video, we are going to talk about actual IGCSC questions for the topic of laws of logarithms. Before we start, make sure that you are familiar with all the rules of logarithms. Let's have a quick look on the rules that you have to know. The product rule with the same base, division rule with the same base, the power rule, you can always put the power of your value in front of the log and vice versa. And you can change the base to a new base. Uh, this are uh, changing the log form into index form. These are the index form. These are the log form. Those are the special rule you have to remember. Special rule you have to remember. Okay, you can pause the video and you can have a quick look on the rules of logarithms before we start to discuss about the actual IGCSC questions. Right, now, um, once you are done, let's go back to the question itself. Solve. You are supposed to solve these log equations, meaning finding the value of x. Have a quick look here. Log base 3. Log base 3. Group them together at one side. You bring this over to the left hand side, so it becomes minus. All right, so subtraction between two, two rocks with uh, same base. So division rule, by applying division rule, you can group them together by division. Okay, there you go, with a single log. Now you're going to change this single log into index form. This is how we change it. 3 to the power of 2 equals 2x plus 1 over 3x minus 1. 3 square. Nine. I think this is just a linear, simple linear equation. You bring this over. 27x minus 99. Collect the like terms. So the value of x uh, is 4, acceptable, because since this is a positive value. All right, so we move on. Okay, this is a bit different. Because we look at this log, base 4, this is the log with base 2, different base. So you need to change them to the same base first by applying this rule, change of the base. And which base are we changing it to? You always change the bigger base, meaning 4 here, to a smaller base. So we're changing base 4 to base 2. So let's change it to base 2. Put y here, you put 4 here. Once we change it to a new base, uh, this is the part with number log 2, 4, put it to calculator, you have 2. Alright, so log 2y, log 2y, over 2. So try to eliminate, uh, change it back to the non fractions. So to eliminate the 2, you multiply the whole thing by 2. So you cut it off, there's no more 2. There should be a 2 here. This will become 18, right? So we have log 2y plus, and remember, you can bring it back as a power here, the power rule. So you have log 2y squared, 18. Same base, same base, plus, so you multiply these two values. Log 2y cubed equals to 18. Okay, now we change this back to uh, index form. 2 power of 18 equals to y cubed. So y equals to... 2 power of 18 with a q root 
or if you don't want, you can write it as 2 power 18 times 1 over 3, up to you. So eventually, you will have 2 power of 6, that will be 64. Solving, right? Okay, solving. So that will be your final answer, 64. Okay, now we move on to the next questions. Solve. Okay, same thing. Huh? Solve. Always check the base first, you know. A base 7, base 7. If it's the same, you group them together. You collect the like terms, you put them on the same side. So plus, you change back to minus, it's the same kind of questions. Yeah, it's the same kind of questions. Then since it's a minus division rule, group them by division. Change them to index form. Seven power of two equals to 17 y plus 15 over two y minus three. That'll be 49. Uh, again, it is a linear equation. Okay, group Y together. 98 minus 17 Y. 1y is it going to be beautiful? 162, yeah. So y it's 2. Positive value as a uh, okay. So it should be okay. Done? So y is 2. Okay, this is a bit special, different. Evaluate. So it's not solve, but evaluate. Evaluate means the final answer must be a number. A value must be a value. So that value usually how we do is we simplify these uh these uh, expressions and then we find the value of it. How do we simplify? If you look at this, this is base p, this is base sixteen, and it's not plus and minus between the log. So what you can do is you can simplify it by changing the base. You see, yeah, uh, this is a uh, base p, this is base sixteen. So up to you. Uh, if I were you, I would change this to base P. P is over here. So you are just going to sort between the base and also the value. How do you sort between the base and the value? The special case, right? Yeah, this is the special case. If you want to change between the base and the value, you put 1 over. And then you have log AB. Log BA, you change to log AB, 1 over. So we're going to do this. So you keep log p a up to you but i prefer it doing this way multiply with one over log we swap with you right so we swap with you that will be log p 16. this is what you have still you can't you can't cut the log like that right because it's not the same so the next thing you have to do is to simplify the value change them to the same base but index now so we change this to index so we are changing it to something with the base 16. Both can be changed to base base 2, right? It's base 2. So log p 2 cube multiply with 1 over log p 2 power 4. You know what's going to happen, right? Because a uh, power rule, this one can put in front, this one you can put in front. So you have 3 bracket log p2 multiply with 1 over 4 bracket log p2. Ah, now you can cut. What do I mean? Because you have log p2 here, you log p2 here, you can cut it. So the final answer, it should be 3 over 4. Eh? A value without any uh, unknown. So that will be the final answer. Then we move on to the next one. Soft. 
finding the value of unknown. So the unknown is here. Okay, whenever you see all these log 4, 2 and log e 64, right? All this can be, you can, you can figure out the value by yourself. For example, this one, I know that it's going to be 2. You can try in the calculator. Uh, what happened is uh, because this is... Uh, this log x x squared and again bring it in front so it basically just two lah because uh log x x is one right so that will be just two log four two you can use a calculator as well that'll be one over two but if you want to show your working uh i think you can do so there are a few ways uh to change this one depending which one that you prefer lah, huh? So we're changing this to base 2. Uh, the, the easier way to understand is to change it to base 2. So if I change it to base 2, are we, are we changing the bigger base to a smaller base? So you're going to put 2 here, and you're going to put 4 here. With that, you have 1 over 2. That's the value, right? 1 over 2. This is 2. This is 1 over 2. But there's another value, actually there's another method. Another method is uh, whenever you have log 4, 2, you can think of it like that. You can change them to the same base, meaning you change them to the same base of an index form. You can change it to 2 square, and this is 2 power of 1. Am I right? Remember the power rule? Power rule is you can bring this power, you know, in front, 1. But actually, you can do the same for this. Whenever you bring the power of the base to the front, it becomes divided by 2. So in this case, you have 1 over 2 of log 2, 2. And this one is 1. So this is 1 over 2. It is a shortcut. Lah. So whether you like it or not, so, okay? it's up to you. All right, so I'm going to show you the full working step now. Okay, so what we do to solve this is first, I will change this to log 2, 2 over log 2, 4. Okay, change this to base 2. And then plus log 9. Keep it first because this is, this is the only base that is base 9. And you know log x64 is 2. And then you have 1 over 2 plus log 9, 2x plus 5 equals to 2. Of course, we put the constant at one side. 2 minus 1 over 2. So that will be uh, 3 over 2. Now you change this block to index form. 9 to the power of 3 over 2 equals to 2x plus 5. What do we get? You put in the calculator, you have 27 equals to 2x plus 5. So linear equation, 32 or oh, not 32. 22 equals 2x and x is 11. Alright, we go on. Okay, this is a bit special. This is a quadratic um the idea is we let okay three power of y nine power of y always check the smaller one so you let three power of y equals to u okay equals to u right we change this to a smaller base of course you change it back to base three you have three to the power of two to the power of y plus make sure you expand it Okay, this is the only part I want to highlight. 3 to the power of 2 bracket y is the same as 3 to the power of y to the power of 2. Do you agree? Eventually, you got 2y. Same, right? 
And also, uh, I let 3 to the power of y to be u. So you can write this as u squared, right? So this is actually u squared plus 5u minus 50. This is actually solving a complex, complicated quadratic equations. Quadratic equations, so you do uh, cross factorizations. Or you can just figure out using your calculator. What do you get? 1 for A, B, 5, C is negative 50. So you got 5 and also negative 10. U minus 5, U plus 10. That is your working step. Make sure you include this. So um, that's the answer. U is 5 and U is, but uh, this is not the final answer because you need to find the value for Y. Okay, so you have to write as um, 3 power of Y equals 5 or negative 10. However, you are going to reject this answer, rejected. Why? Because whenever you have uh, exponential, 3 to the power of Y, you can never get a negative answer. It's impossible. So the only answer is 3 power of y equals to 5. Continue with that. So solve it by using a log concept. Put a log on both sides. So you have, up to you, you can use the log base 10, LG, or you can use log base uh, exponential, ln. Up to you. So if I put LG, um, I will have LG, 3 to the power of y, you put a log on both sides. And remember, the power, you can put it in front. y, lg3 equals to lg5. You need to find the value of y, so you bring it over lg5 over lg3. Go into your calculator and find the answer. So log 5 divided by log 3. Three significant figure, so 1.46, right, that's the final answer.